This is the PlayFootball.com podcast, and I'm Jeff Fisher of High School Football America. It is Rewind Wednesday as we go back to January 17, 2013, and our interview with former NFL Pro Bowl quarterback Mark Brunel, who had just been named the head football coach at the Episcopal School in Jacksonville, Florida. This past season, Brunel led the Eagles to a 6-3 mark, losing to High School Football America 100 number 21 Trinity Christian Academy in the Florida 3A playoffs. In 2019, Brunel led the school to its first ever home playoff football victory. Time to rewind to that 2013 interview with Brunel, who was very eager to coach up his kids at the Episcopal School. His name is Mark Brunel, and he is the new high school football coach at Episcopal. And Mark joins us right now to talk about all those years as a pro and now getting back to the roots of the game. Welcome to the show, Coach. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Well, how, how does that sound? I guess that's the first question. You know, instead of hey, hey, quarterback, hey, QB, hey, number eight, how's it sound when somebody <laughs> says, hey, coach? You know what? It sounds a little different. Uh, I'm still getting used to it, but I like the sound of that. You know, it's uh, um, you know, this is a new opportunity for me. I'm thrilled about it. You know, I can think of no better way to uh, impact the next generation than through high school athletics. So, like I said, I'm I'm thrilled about this and. And, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, uh, being called coach, is, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> well, over the last uh, two years, let's see, we've had Gus Farad on the show. We've had uh, John Kitna and Shane Matthews, all who have gone through the NFL quarterback ranks and then come back to high school football. What brought you back to uh, kind of the roots of the game, if you will? Well, I tell you what, I was looking for something to, uh, um, to do that would allow me to stay in Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida is my home. Uh, we love raising our family here. Um, I wanted to stay in football and I wanted to, like I said, you know, work with, with young kids. Uh, and, uh, and so it was a perfect fit. Episcopal High School called, uh, and, uh, and said that I'd like to talk about this, this opportunity. And the more I spoke with them, uh, the more it just seemed to resonate with me. And, and after about four or five meetings, I, I knew that it was, it was exact, the exact job that I want, I wanted to do. And, and so a perfect fit for, for me and my family. And so I'm really looking forward to it. Talking with Mark Brunel, the new head coach at Episcopal School of Jacksonville. Uh, just got the job uh, about a week ago and talking about uh, the kind of the change from uh, those 17 years in the NFL. Let's uh, let's uh, educate the listeners a little bit here about, about the school itself and how kind of academics and sports comes together. Give us a little thumbnail sketch. Well, I'll tell you, Episcopal High School is one of the best schools in the area. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I, I'm working for them. Uh, academically, it is tops. And uh, what I like about the school and what attracted me to it was the balance that it, uh, it allows its, its students to have. Um, there are a lot of opportunities that Episcopal offers that not a lot of schools in our area, at least, will offer. And, and uh, not only during their high school, but also you know, going forward into, the, in, in, into college. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a very well-rounded school. Uh, obviously, um, the, uh, the studies are number one, uh, but through you know, a lot of different programs and uh, like in the fine arts and uh, through athletics, you know, there's just, a, like I said, a lot of opportunities. It's a great school with wonderful people, uh, a long tradition. And so, I, you know, like I said, it's just a perfect fit. And if there is a school um, that I would like to be a part of, it is without a doubt a physical high school. So tell me, Mark, you, you get that first uh, meeting with the, the young men there that are going to be on your team. Uh, how many of them knew you, and, and what was the initial reaction to the fact that the, the, the program is now led by a guy that had a pretty darn successful career in the NFL? You know, it was, uh, um, I had about, uh, about 40 students um, yesterday morning and uh, before school started, and, and um, you know, I introduced myself. I think, you know, um, you know, a couple of them maybe knew my name. They're pretty young now. I, I think they were probably all, you know, they hadn't even <laughs> started school at all when I was playing for the Jaguars. That's right. You're an old man. <laughs> now, I'm an old man compared to those, to those kids. But, you know, it was, it was, I thought it was a good reception. Um, you know, and, and there seemed to be some enthusiasm and uh, some anticipation for the season. You know, we've, uh, Episcopal High School, as far as football is concerned, has struggled as of late. And so, um, you know, I told them that, that, uh, we we're going to win some football games and that we were going to work hard, uh, but that we were going to have fun too. And that, that playing football would be a very, very good experience for each and every one of them. And so, uh, it was a good first meeting. 
Of course, tomorrow might be a little different. I'm talking to their parents tomorrow, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, that's going to be baptism by fire. We are talking yes, with the, Mark Brunel, the, the new head coach at Episcopal High School in Jacksonville, Florida, a uh, 17-year vet of uh, the NFL, played for many teams, uh, last one being the, the New York Jets. Uh, tell me a little bit about the transition for yourself. Now, I know last year you were an assistant at a uh, at a Florida school there, but what are some of the things that you're having to do to, to kind of, you know, NFL, you kind of get a lot of things handed to you i mean it's still it's it's a it's a business this is different you're sometimes chief cook and bottle washer at the same time so what are the biggest adjustments you you think you're going to have to make well that's a good question and, and uh um you know the, the the biggest adjustment is going to be the level of play obviously i'm going from um from the nfl down to the high school level and so my my expectations need to be realistic i know that that uh, as far as the talent level and actually the overall, you know, the, the size and speed of these students obviously is going to be different. And so um, I've got to understand that, you know, not every kid can throw a, you know, a 40-yard post and not every quarterback, not every running back can, um, you know, carry the ball 20 to 25 times. And, and uh, uh, so we'll, uh, you know, that will be an adjustment. And this can be a learning process for me too, you know, and I've got a lot of football um uh, knowledge or history or experience, uh, but I don't have a lot of high school uh, football experience, and so I'll rely on a lot of my you know, coaching staff. And, and uh, but you know, it's 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 still football. It's mm-hmm. still a great game, a game that I love. And, and uh, while there's going to be some learning, like I said. It's going to be a very rewarding experience, and so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And while you don't have that overall kind of body of work at high school, you, you were a high school player yourself. We were talking about that before we started the interview in Southern California, and you did have that experience last year. Uh, is there any way to kind of put into words um, what, what 20-some-odd years difference does to the game? Uh, like you said, it is still football. There's still X's and O's, and there's blocking and tackling. But is there a difference in, in, in your short time back at the high school level? Yeah, I, I I think so, you know, and and uh, um, I think the game at every level is is always changing. I mean, some of the things that I I was able to see last year um, at the school I was at, um, just what these what these these young men are capable of doing, and uh, there there is a lot of talent. And I think the biggest thing for high school sports that has changed from from my perspective is just the exposure that they get and the opportunities that these young men get to really take their game to the next level. I mean, there's combines in high school. There are um, events and camps and training programs all over the place to, to get exposure for the high school student and to and really to teach them the fundamentals. And, and uh, um, you're seeing young guys making commitments after their sophomore year where, you know, when I was in high school, it was, you know, you, you, you committed, you know, two months after your, your senior season was mm-hmm. over. So, there's a lot of changes, a lot of opportunities. I think it's good for the students. It has become a bigger sport since I played high school, but, uh, but I think it's been real good for high school athletics as a whole. Talking with Mark Brunel tonight, the new head coach at Episcopal School in, in Jacksonville. And I mentioned earlier uh, a couple of the names, former quarterbacks that have, uh, you know, come back to the high school level. I talked to uh, Don Beebe, the former Bill, who just won back to back championships in Illinois. So there's a lot of NFL players coming back to this route, maybe, you know, uh, instead of going to the college level or, or, or whatnot. And any thoughts on that? Why, why it's maybe happening more? Or is it just the media kind of picks up on it when you see the name Mark Brunel? You're like, oh, wait, I got to get him on the air here. Uh, any thoughts to why the, the the NFL players are coming back to start their coaching careers at high school? Well, I think that uh, um, the high school level is is very family friendly. You know, I mean, a lot of former players at the pro level they want to coach, but they want to raise a family too. And, and coaching at the pro and college level can be very difficult. Um, the hours that you put in um, uh, at night during the course of the season and the recruiting. Um, um, is 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 really big. I mean, you're on the road as a college coach, you know, quite a bit. So it's not, you know, the best term I have is family friendly. The high school level is different. Uh, the game is 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 simple. Um, you're around young kids with a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, kids that really want to work hard and become good players. You know, and what I liked about it is, uh, is that uh, I get to be home at night for dinner with my family. So um, I think those components are huge, and that was really a, a draw for me. And and uh, um, I get to stay in Jacksonville, be around football, and and, uh, and 
still get to spend a lot of time with my children and my wife. And let's wrap up with this question then. Um, and, and maybe you already had the conversation yesterday. You've obviously got some kids there that are quarterbacks. You talked about maybe not everyone's going to be able to throw that 40-yard post and all that. But uh, when, when former NFL quarterback, Pro Bowl quarterback, uh, gets with his, his quarterbacks at the high school level, what are you going to tell them? And, and, and I think that should be kind of interesting to, to be a fly on the wall to hear what you tell them about your experience and what you can help them accomplish. You know, as far as the quarterbacks, I, you know, I'm really big on the fundamentals. And uh, so we'll work hard on that. And, in fact, I told a young quarterback yesterday, I said, I want you to work hard. And I said, but, but I want you to have fun, too. And, I, and that's exactly what I told the team. We're going to work hard. We're going to prepare because to have success in the field, you have to put in the time and you, ha- you just have to prepare. And, uh, uh, but at the same time, it is, it is high school football. We're going to, we're going to enjoy each other as a team. We're going to enjoy the wins. We're going to, you know, we're going to fight through the losses together in the tough times and, you know, during, during training camp. And so I think the overall experience is going to be great. And I can think of no better teaching tool for, for young men, uh, to prepare them for the next, you know, phase of their life in college and beyond, uh, than football. Um, you know, I, I learned so much on the football field as a young man and I hope, you know, those lessons will be transferred to the, to the, to the young men that I coach. <laughs> That's PlayFootball.com's Rewind Wednesday interview from 2013 with NFL legend Mark Brunel, a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars Hall of Fame who also won a Super Bowl ring as a backup with the New Orleans Saints. And coaches, don't forget to check out PlayFootball.com for some great resources to help you improve in the coaching profession. Next week on PlayFootball.com's Rewind Wednesday, I'll talk with former NFL Buffalo Bills legend Don Beebe on going from being a national football league wide receiver to an Illinois high school football state championship coach. I'm Jeff Fisher of High School Football America, and you've been listening to the PlayFootball.com podcast.